Hello guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to look into another type of correlation plot that is a scatter plot with line of best fit. So let's start to write the code for this plot. So as usual, we are going to follow the same steps which we have learned in our earlier session. So in the step one, we are going to initialize global setting. In the step two, we are going to import the data set and create the data frame. In the step three, we are going to prepare our data set according to the plot. In the fourth step, we are going to draw the plot. And fifth step is the part of the fourth step where we are going to decorate the plot with the right level so that we will get the meaningful information. As I already mentioned that the step one and step two is almost similar. So let's leverage the code. So let's go to the earlier example and over here I am going to copy and paste this code which we have seen earlier. So here I am going to copy all this code. So let me copy this and then I will go back and over here in this Jupyter notebook I am going to select this cell press B and paste the code to shift into. So it will load all the required library which is required to draw the plot and over here we are going to set the parameters as well now proceeding to the second step that is importing the data set but prior to importing the data set i wanted to let you know that what kind of data set i am going to use for this particular session so that you should aware about the data set and the problem statement so how do you get the data set it is again the same location from where we have grabbed the data in our earlier session so this is the github repository for this course where you will get all the content of loan data analysis from scratch and over here you will find that if you will go over here then you will find that there is a data folder and within that we are having a mpg.csv so basically this data set is containing the information about the miles per gallon information we are having car by manufacturer and the model of the car and it will also contain the information about the displacement and when the car is manufactured and how many cylinders used within this displacement and what is the gear transition mechanism is whether it is a auto gear shift manual along with the mileage information if it is running into the city then what is the uh, consumption of the fuel and if it is traveling in highway so guys this is about the data set so let's grab this so i have copied the csv file over here and let's go to the Jupyter notebook in the step 2 select the cell press B and over here I am going to create a data frame and here I am going to tell that pd dot read underscore csv and within that I am going to specify the csv file location and let's print it as well so shift enter so we got error and the error is because we are not grabbing the raw form so let's grab it through the raw form of the data so how we can get the raw form let's look into that so guys instead of this location you have to click on this raw button so that we will get the data in raw form and you should grab this link not the earlier one sorry for that so grab this copy this link and go to the jupyter notebook and over here you should specify this and now do the shift enter then you will find that we will get all the data from that particular csv file in the form of data frame so this is about the data set now let's discuss about the problem statement what we are going to analyze with the help of data visualization more specifically what we are going to analyze on a scatter plot with the best fit line so guys the problem statement is does number of cylinder is affecting fuel consumption of a vehicle if it is running on highway and for this study you have to use the vehicle which is of four cylinder and which is of eight cylinder so you have to use these two vehicles and identify that whether the cylinder is affecting the fuel consumption on highway or not so you should plot it and draw the best fit line so guys let's proceed to the third step to prepare our data for this particular problem so guys let's prepare our data set so here i am going to select the cell press b and i am going to give some other data frame name dfs that is data frame selected equal to and here i need to specify the data frame and i am going to tell that i am going to use the loc method to slice our data set so that we will get only those specific record where we are having the cylinder 4 and 8 so how we will grab it so i am going to specify the condition over here within loc so i will tell the df dot cylinder dot is in so this method is going to check that wherever our cylinder is having four value and eight value it will return only those records and it is a slicing technique which we have already seen in a, one of our earlier session so this will return us the record where we are having four cylinder as well as eight cylinder so let's look into that dfs shift enter and you will find that 
we got only those record wherever our vehicle is having four cylinder and eight cylinder now proceeding further and now let's prepare this data for plotting so i am going to first set the seaborn style over here so the next step is we need to tell that sns dot set underscore style and here i am going to tell that white over here so this is the first step second step now we are going to draw the plot so this time i am going to use the lm plot of seaborn lm is the linear model plot so i can tell that the plot obj we can tell equal to sns lm plot and for x i am going to tell that which column i am going to use i am going to use the displacement column so why i am using displacement so basically displacement is the container for these cylinders so here we are verifying if our cylinder is 4 then what is the displacement value so on x axis i want to draw displacement so i will tell it over here x i want displacement so let's write displace in y i want to put highway variable so i will tell it over here highway h way and for you i am going to use cylinder and i will tell that cyl and the data which we have just selected that is dfs so i will tell that this will be performed on the base on data which we have selected dfs next parameter we need to pass is the height so we will tell that height equal to 7 aspect i'm going to tell that 1.6 and robust equal to true so these are the sum of the parameter which you need to specify and this time also i am going to use the palette tab 10 if you remember we have discussed about the tab 10 in our earlier session now next we need to specify the configuration for the best fit line so over here there is some of the parameter which we need to specify for that that is a scatter underscore kws equal to here we are going to specify the dictionary dict and within that we need to specify s equal to 60 so these are the parameter which we have to specify over there i will tell you how you will get these information so you just remember it here we are doing the decoration for the best fit line over here so here i will specify another thing the edge color what the color i want to keep it so over here i will specify black this is it for the best fit line so you will see that here we are having various configuration now you must be asking that how do i remember all this so i will tell that no need to remember all this thing you will get the information at this site so this is the seaborn plot site over here you will find the information about various plots and here you will find that we are using the lm plot so you will get all the parameter detail over here there are various parameter you can use it as per your plotting requirement so now let's proceed further so guys in the next step we are going to decorate our plot so i am going to write that i will tell that plot object which we have created and i want to set the limit and the limit which i want to set it over here that is x limit and the starting is 0 0.5 to 7.5 so this is the limit i want to provide it over here and now i am going to specify the y limit and i will tell that y limit is going to be the highway highway fuel consumption detail so over here i will tell that 0 to 50 now i will specify the plot title i will tell that plot title and over here i will specify scatter plot with line of best fit group by number of cylinders so i will specify that and the font size i am going to keep it large now i am going to take this fifth step and paste it into the fourth step so that we will run it together and it will give us the meaningful information so let's run it do shift enter and once you run it then you will find that we will get the information over here the consumption fuel consumption information so here the color orange is representing the vehicle which is having eight cylinder and blue color is representing the vehicle which we are having four cylinders so here you will see that we are having a strong correlation relationship between the displacement and the highway so over here you will see that the fuel consumption is getting reduced if our displacement is having more than four cylinder and in the x-axis we have represented the displacement value so you must be asking that what actually this displacement is so basically within a car displacement holds the cylinders it is a chamber within that we are having the cylinders and those cylinders will actually get the fuel for car engines so in this study we have analyzed that we are having more cylinders within the displacement 
then the fuel consumption is being reduced if it is going on highway so we clearly see that it has the negative correlation so how it is getting decreased if cylinder value is getting increased and because of that displacement is also getting increased so guys this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session in the next session we are going to learn about count plot that is also very useful to identify the correlation so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care